After taking your images, import them into Lightroom. The first thing you're going to do is make changes to the foreground exposure, such as I did here. The main things you need to pay attention to are white balance, exposure, and any other settings you might like to change. The next thing you're going to do is make the same adjustments to the star images. After you do that, right click, foreground exposure, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. It's going to open in Adobe Photoshop and you're just going to leave that there. Go back to Lightroom, click on the star image, and then you're going to select all the star images, hit sync, check all the settings, and synchronize. After all the images are synchronized, right click on any image, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. This process will take a little bit, so just sit back and relax. Once all of your images load into Photoshop, select all the layers and change the blend mode to normal to lighten. And ta-da! If there are any unwanted lights, find what layers or layer they are on and create a layer mask. There are none in this example, but I'll show you how. Select a layer, hit Add a layer mask. You're going to grab your brush tool and you'll brush away whatever lights are on that layer. Like I said, there are none on this layer, so I'm going to delete this step. After any masking, select all the layers again, right click, and merge layers. After merging the layers, it's likely that the image will look overexposed and just really washed out. So what you can do to fix that is create a new adjustment layer, go to brightness and contrast, Click this adjustment here and adjust your brightness and bring it down. The goal here is to match the foreground image. At this point now, we are going to duplicate the image layer by dragging it down to the box with the plus in it and selecting the spot healing brush tool. With this tool, zoom in to the image where there might be any plane trails and start removing them with the spot healing brush tool. Depending on where you were photographing star trails at, this process could take a while. In this example here, the image was taken in a very dark area, so there is very minimal plane trails. After removing plane trails, I like to toggle the adjustments that I just made on and off just to make sure that everything blends seamlessly. Now that all the plane trails are removed, select all the layers again, right click and merge layers. Now that there's a clean star trail image, go over to the foreground and we are going to remove any hot pixels or noise that was created from doing a long exposure. I like to zoom in so you can really notice where the noise is. Go up to filter, noise, dust and scratches. In this panel, the goal is to increase the radius until you don't see any more hot pixels or the noise is very minimal. For this example, it looks like two pixels will work. And then you want to increase the threshold until you get sharpness back into the image. It looks like 27, 28 levels will do the job. Generally for the radius, you want between one and five pixels and for the threshold between 10 and 30 levels. Now with a clean foreground image and a clean star trail image, we are going to combine both images. First, unlock the foreground image and then select the move tool and drag it over to the star trail image. Select both layers and go up to file, auto align layers. Keep it on auto and hit OK. After aligning both of the images, it's time to select and mask in the stars. Go over to the object selection tool. And for this example, I'm going to select select subject first. It's going to select the tree and then I'm gonna hit select and mask. It didn't select all of the foreground, so I am going to mask in this foreground element here. And then I'm going to use the refine edge brush tool to get any areas that might have missed in between the trees here. Once you think you have a good selection, change the view mode to onion skin. This will show the, a real live view of the selection that you made. Hit OK. And then create a layer mask. In this layer mask, I'm going to use the brush tool and zoom in and brush in where it missed. This is a more challenging example because it is a tree with a ton of details. So the refined edge brush tool doesn't necessarily make it perfect and you have to manually go in and make those adjustments. Once you're finished and happy with the masking, look it over once again, select both layers, right click and merge layers. After merging layers, Go to File, Save, and the image will save to Lightroom. In Lightroom here, I'm going to make any final adjustments that I want to the image. 
And there you go. Now you have a finished star trail image. Here is the before and after 